everybody, it's Midnight for Sony here, and I am here, just another kind of vloggy talk about things kind of situation, and I wanted to talk about something that is very important to me as of recent, and so, as of recent, has anyone ever realized or noticed, we've all had that moment where we sit and we wait, and we're like, hey, I've got a package coming in the mail. I'm super excited. It's going to be here any money. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. And then delivery day gets here and you're ready to go check the mail, wait for the package, and you either hear that ring on the doorbell or you see the mailman. Now, as for the ring of the doorbell, you go to answer the door and no one's there. And either one of two things have happened. Either one, there's a package just sitting there, or two, there's nothing at all. Now, I've experienced this more than once, uh, where I've been like, okay, why would someone just ring the doorbell? And then I go and you get a notification for Amazon or whatever that says, hey, your package made it. And I'm like, uh, no, it did not, you know, because uh, there's nothing there on the doorstep. So I don't know what happened and why Amazon's playing ding dong ditch or whatever, but um, there's no package. The second half of it, uh, they'll have a picture sometimes that shows where they delivered the package. Now, a lot of the times for me, it's not even the right door. And I'm like, um, I don't have a doormat. I don't, I don't, that's not my house. And normally Amazon's really nice about it. They'll go, all right, sorry, we'll just resend it or can't resend it from another buyer. We'll refund you, whatever. The transaction between losing the package is simple and fine. Now for the other half of it, have you ever gotten a package in the mail only to receive the package half crushed or there's a lot a slice through it or it's been like it's like someone punched it it's like at the post office someone got really upset about something and they just decided to punch your package because it was the first thing they could take their anger out on now I have like I have had this happen to me multiple times even one of my Epsi packages that came in the mail one day had a slice through it and I was I was so confused and so upset by the fact like nothing inside was damaged thank God but it's still a situation of as of recently it's felt like Amazon UPS the mail people they just don't care anymore you know and if you work for a postal service and everything you know I don't mean any offense to you but I remember the days where when we had someone knock on the door from Amazon they would say you would knock on the door you'd open the door and they'd be like here's your package can I get a, a signature you have a wonderful day and they'd leave but now I'm lucky enough if they kick my door and there's actually a package there so it gets really frustrating when you're like I'm waiting for two weeks to come in the mail. I put them on, you know, rush delivery because I need them by, you know, the next weekend. And then, you know, the, you get your ring doorbell, you get a notification saying that it's been delivered. And when you go to check, there's nothing. Or when you go to check, it's beaten up. And mind you, in most cases, when the box is beaten up, there's nothing actually wrong with the package. The package was delivered fine. The problem is, it's just, it's my package. Why was it dented? Why was it thrown? Why was it, you know, set? Like, I've had stuff come in the mail too that's been broken because of the fact that someone, I guess, didn't take care of it when it was at the post office. I always feel like every package should still be treated a bit fragilely. Like, of course, if you, it, not every package is fragile, but like, I feel like some of them should at least be treated that way because. Why are all the packages coming with dents in them? So it's really, really frustrating to constantly go check the mail and either A, it's not there and they've said it's there, B, there's a big dent or slash through it, or C, I just, I miss, I miss the caring face of a delivery person coming to the door and saying, here's your package, signature please, you have a wonderful day. It's like with mail uh, with mail systems, we've completely taken out the customer service part of it and we've gone, let's just deliver them as soon as possible as fast as possible because we don't need to see your face we don't need a signature heck we don't even know if this is the right door but you know what we delivered that package and that's all that really matters and it's been so frustrating and it's so annoying but you know respect to the people who have to do the job because obviously it's hard work but could you could you not punch my package also could you not throw it at my door you know I don't know how many times we've had to call Amazon to tell them that our package actually isn't here or that you know the neighbors got it or something and it's in like 
it, it's just it, it feels like no one's caring anymore and not even paying attention they're just like that looks like a door this package needs to be delivered to a door anyway that's about the end of my rant I just thought that I would let you I just try to communicate with you guys on something that's been really frustrating lately because it's happened so much in the past few months so hopefully even the packages I'm waiting for right now will come in the mail properly. Not damaged, not hurt. Uh, hopefully we won't have to worry about anything wrong with those ones. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to hear more rants of stuff that I don't, that I'm irritated about or that just makes blood boil or, you know, bother, whatever. Uh, feel free to comment below. Also, comment if you have any packages or an experience or a story where your package just didn't get to you or it was bruised, broken, you know, it was stolen, you know. Just just feel free to comment, have a conversation. I want to talk to you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you like me, subscribe. If you don't, I'll see you later. But either way, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay? Bye.